here we deal with the court's powers in relation to ADR and NCDR. And they're set out in the FPR 2010 Part 3, where the court is enjoined, and this is mandatory. The court must consider at every stage in proceedings where the court non-court dispute resolution is appropriate. And at 3.4 of the same section, if the court considers that non-court dispute resolution is appropriate, it may direct that the proceedings or a hearing in proceedings be adjourned for such specified period as it considers appropriate to enable the parties to obtain information and advice about and consider using non-court dispute resolution. And where they agree, to enable non-court dispute resolution to take place, the court may give directions under this rule on an application or of its own initiative. So the court has the power to direct people away from litigation out of the court arena into non-court dispute resolution. Now, the cost rules and financial remedy proceedings, you'll all be very familiar with these, the general rule of no orders to costs, but Rule 28.3, subsection 6, costs orders if there's conduct, and subsection 7, setting out the factors the courts to have regard to when considering conduct, and the FPR Practice Direction 28A, paragraph 4.4, expanding on considerations of conduct. And 4.4 says, in considering the conduct of the parties for the purposes of Rule 28.36 and 7, including any open offers to settle, the court will have regard to the obligations of the parties to help the court to further the overriding objective. And since May 2019, when the section was expanded, this was added. The court will take a broad view of conduct for the purposes of this rule and will generally conclude that to refuse openly to negotiate reasonably and responsibly will amount to conduct, in respect of which the court will consider making an order for costs. This includes a needs case where the applicant litigates unreasonably, resulting in the costs incurred by each party becoming disproportionate to the award made by the court. So you need to negotiate. You need to try and negotiate a settlement rather than to litigate. You can do this in all kinds of ways. You can engage in ADR and CDR, but the court is laying out the emphasis and the consequences in relation to costs of failing so to do.